Hey man, it's your boy Zeno Carter coming back at y'all with another video. Now today we have the infinite training and coin method. If you are not up on this method, I do not know what is wrong with you, but I'm here to fill you in. Um, anyways, uh, just a side note. Um, I'm sorry I took a little break from YouTube and Twitch. Um, I had a fashion show that took up a lot of my time and I was really bad at managing my time so I did neither I didn't stream I didn't do YouTube so I really apologize for that but we're back on our grind um, fashion shows over consistent schedule starting up again um, and another thing I wanted to say uh, at a hundred YouTube subscribers I'm doing a giveaway I'm doing the $25 giveaway of a Xbox card a PS4 card um, Amazon card a card of your choosing $25 pretty much um, at 100 YouTube subscribers, so make sure you go down below, uh, subscribe. If you fuck with the video, make sure you go down below and subscribe. If you're messing with the coin method, leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know how it goes for you. Um, everybody in my stream yesterday was making a bunch of coins, so if you missed out on that, go down below to my Twitch link. Make sure you follow, turn on notifications, because I stream almost every day. All right, so let's get into this method. So pretty much, you need to find cheapest training. Cheapest training right now is to build a 96. You buy... Um, you buy your 87s at around, uh, pretty much you can build these, you can build a 96 hero, free agency hero, for about 165,000 coins. Um, I'm pretty sure 87s go for like 18,000 coins, if that, I think it's even less now, I think it's like 15,000 coins. Yeah, it's 15,000 coins. They go for 15,000 coins, and, uh, 90s are going for around 35,000 coins, even lower if you just wait for a snipe. So what you need to do is you need to... Go get that because you need 390s, you need 390s and uh, 487s to 89s to build that. So if 88s to 80, if 87s and 88s are around um, 15,000 coins, 15,000 times four, that's 60,000. Um, and then 90s, if 90s are around 35k, 35 times three, it's 105,000. 105,000 times 60, or what is it? What did I say before? Times 60,000, right? Um, 105,000 times 60,000, you guys can do the math, it's 165,000 coins to build a 96. Um, 165,000 divided by around 35,000 is about 4.7, is around 4.7, might be closer to like 4.8, don't quote me on it, I can't do math in my head, but I'm pretty sure it's about 4.7 coins per training. Alright, 4.7 coins per training is a ridiculous price for coins. For training right now so you need to go be building that build yourself two 96s then start this method you want to start this method with at least 80,000 training right so when you start this method you start rolling these packs right what you want to do is you put 87s and 88s into the hero sets 87s 88s and 90s into the hero sets right you can do it with one hero if you're starting with 80,000 training I would recommend doing it with one hero but if you're above like a hundred and twenty thousand training um, once you be, or once you get above 120,000 training, I'd recommend that you start putting your 87s, your extra 87s into the other heroes instead of just completing one at a time. But I'm going to show you completing one at a time because that's what most of you are going to be doing. So 87s and 88s go into a set of your choosing. Whatever set you want, it does not matter. You can do the Chris Harris set. I just do the Chris Harris set because it's on the bottom. It's easiest for me. Um, I'm going to have this written down below if I'm speaking too fast because I have a tendency to speak really fast and unclear. So this is going to be written down below for you um, if you need it. Um, so yeah, you keep putting your 87s. Okay, so now my 96 Chris Harris set is full. So what I'm going to do if I only have around 80,000 training is I'm going to start putting the extra 87s and 88s into the, the 90 to 94 reroll set, right? So what you want to do is you want to quick sell your 94s. Your 90s, your 90s go into the set because you need three to build one, and your 92s also go into the set. If you already have two 92s in the set and you pull another 92, just quick sell the 92. Quick sell the 92, okay? So yeah, you keep pulling these packs, you quick sell your 89s. So let me let me try and say this, um, what you need to do with each card now, right? So 87, 88, 90s, 92s go into the set, right? 87 88 90 and no more than two 92s go into the set so if you pull more than two 92s and you put them in the set you're wasting coins all right so now we're gonna make our chris harris right oh no never mind we need one more 90. um go into the set you quick sell your 89s if you pull more than two 92s you quick sell your 92 
right? And you always quick you always quick sell your 94s. If you pull a 96, you quick sell that as well. <clears throat> um, yeah, you just, you guys have to think, all right? If you're selling your coin, if you're selling your 96s for 4.7 coins per training, you're not making training. You're not making coins. You're losing coins. You might as well take the cheap training. So. Yeah, as you say, you just made a Chris Harris. So would you kind of bank on on this method is pulling 94s and 96s to kind of like bring you back out of the hole. And don't ask me why this works, because in reality, it shouldn't work. If you pull all 87s doing this method, you lose 15,000 training. But you never seem to lose. Like you do, you lose, you go into a hole sometimes, but it, it always brings you back out of the hole. It brings you into profit margin, like crazy profit margins. I can't really explain why this method works, but it does. As long as you have a large sample size of training to start with, this method works. If you don't, don't start this method, please. If you don't have a lot of training to start with, do not go in the comments and say this method doesn't work because this method is a, is a marathon, not a sprint. This method is long term, not a sprint. So if you go in here thinking you're going to pull crazy pulls with 30K training, cool, it might work for you, but for the most people, it won't work. I'm gonna stop talking so much and just you know show you guys what I'm doing. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment. It helps me out tremendously, guys. It helps me out tremendously to push my content farther to other content creators, to other people who uh, might need to see this. Drop a subscribe at 100 subscribers. We're doing that giveaway, man. I'd appreciate it, uh, dude. 100 subscribers, man. I can't even imagine. But yeah, man. We're gonna stop talking and we're just gonna. We're just going to kind of commentate on what's going on. So you guys, I hope you, I kind of like facilitate your guys' understanding. So we pulled a 90 out of the reroll pack. So we want to put that in our, um, uh, my training is going down now, right? But soon enough, I'm going to have a roll where I just shoot up, where I just literally shoot up to like 200K. And I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be soon, but don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged if you see your training start going down. I promise you this method works. I promise you this method works. Um, I started this method with around 100K training. Um, yesterday, I was up to 200K training. I'm, I'm still around there. Well, not really, but we're still kind of close. To, all right, so now we got 292s and 190 in that set. So um, not a loss of training, but 392s. Putting 392s into that set would have been a loss of training. But yeah, guys, just keep rolling this set. Um, once you pass 140,000 training, instead of putting your extra 87s into, I'll show you guys what to do actually. So instead of putting your extra 87s into the um, the reroll set immediately, what people are doing is they're putting their extra 87s into other heroes, right? So they put them into heroes. So they fill up. Like let's. What I like to do is, all right. Once I fill up the Chris Harris for 87s, I go to the Anthony Harris, right? Then I fill that up with 87s. Once I'm done filling that up with 87s, I fill up the Ndamukin Sue with 87s. Once I'm done filling up those three cards, those three cards with 87s, then I start doing the random 90. Then I start putting my extra 87s into the, the 90 to 94 rerolls, right? And all that does is just allow you to pull more cards. So it's just more potential to make profit um, because you're pulling more cards. Um, once you pass, I would say like 220k training. You do that same thing, except you fill up all of these with 87s, right? So then you just maximize your potential to, to pull good pulls. Yeah, I really hope I explained that well, because that's kind of like difficult to explain without showing you guys, but I don't have enough training to show you guys that method, but I do have enough training to show you guys what I'm doing now. So I'm filling up this Chris Harris with 87s. As soon as he gets filled, I'm going to start filling up. Uh, I'm going to start filling up Anthony Harris's set with 87s. Like now you see. You see how my Chris Harris is grayed out. So instead of putting in the 99, 90 to 94 reroll, if you have over 120K training, put it in the Anthony Harris set or put it in whatever set honestly floats your boat. It doesn't have to be this one. Just want to let you guys know that. Start filling up those other guys with 87s. And then once you fill them up with 87s, then your extra 87s go into that 90 to 94 reroll and you, you, you complete the set after that. So, like I said before, it's literally the same exact method. There's no difference except you have more chance, more opportunity to gain because you're pulling more cards. Putting in 87s and 88s. So, we're going to finish this round. If we make training, we make training. If we don't, we don't. You guys understand the method. In the long run, it's, guys, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You're not going to make training on every single roll, but I promise you that you will make training, like a lot of it. 
I promise you that. Just remember that, you know, when you see your training go down, you know, because sometimes that happens. Sometimes you have really shitty rolls, you pull straight 87s. If you don't believe that this method works, I mean, if it's not, if it don't work for you, man, then I guess just stop it. But, yo, this method is making a ton of people coins. I've seen so many videos on this method. Like, this method is actually just nuts. It's just nuts, honestly. So we add our 90s to the first set that we want to do, which is the Chris Harris. We add that up. And 87s go into the Nadamikid Sue because he's still not filled up yet. I think he should be filled up now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. All right, that's the last one then. All right, so I think Nadamikid Sue's filled up so we can start putting our extra 87s and 88s into the 90 to 94 reroll. Yeah, okay, so now we put our extra 87s and 88s into that reroll, and we're doing the same method, literally just building it, but we just have more chance, we just have more opportunity for uh, crazy pulls. So, <clears throat> I'm going to finish out this round of the method, um, and that's going to be the end of the video. <clears throat> so, stick around if you want to see the end of the method. If you're confident that you understand the method, you can click off this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Um, would much appreciate appreciate that. So we get a 90 out of there. So I think that should be Chris Harris. We need one more 90. Damn, these these are pretty brutal today, huh? For recording this fucking YouTube video. These are pretty brutal. It's all right. It happens. Sometimes you get on brutal runs and it always brings you right back afterwards. So it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, guys, definitely hop on this method while it's still popping. Oh, okay. 94 is you quick sell. 94 is you quick sell. Remember that. Quick sell your 94s. Remember, guys, if you need a written description, it's going to be down below. All right? Down below in the description. I'm going to write it all out for you. Um, so that way, you know, there's hopefully no confusing, no confusion. Um, all right. So this should be the last 90, unless I pull a 94 for uh, the Chris Harris. Uh, okay. So that should be Chris Harris. Right now that we finish our Chris Harris, now we we still put our 87s into the reroll set. We finished the we finished all the sets that we started. So the Nandamik and Sue and the Anthony Harris, we finished those sets. So we don't put our we don't put our 87s into this Chris Harris set. Put it straight into the 90 to 94 reroll and finish those other sets. This is literally all we're doing, and everybody's literally making so much training off of this method. Oh, it's disgusting. EA should definitely patch this soon. Knowing EA, I'm not saying they should, but they definitely will. So if you're not on this method right now, please get on it. Training is 4.7 coins per training. Like, uh, what what better motivation is it to start this method? I couldn't name one. Yeah, I hope this motivates you guys. Um, yeah, uh, like I said below, you guys should drop in on my Twitch streams. We'd be lit over there. Um, yesterday we had around like 50 viewers. It was fucking insane. I thank I still thank you if you if you if you're from my Twitch channel I appreciate y'all so much man y'all had me lit yesterday but anyways go down below follow my Twitch channel please you know we be lit on there this is where we find methods everybody comes in and we find methods so if you want to be first to to know these methods then um yeah definitely go check that out anyways we're just finishing this up I know I don't want to make this video too long because then people start to get bored and click off and stuff. All right, ooh, look, 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 look. I think we're about to make training. I think we're about to make training. 294s in, in a row. 294s in a row. Ah, uh, I'm waiting for that big 96 pull on YouTube. That would be so sick right now. Anyways, um, I want to just give a quick shout out to, um, I don't know who came up with this method, but people on my stream were saying either Nick P. Pfeiffer, which is a good friend of mine, um, uh, yo, awesome dude. If you haven't checked out Nick, bro, please check out Nick. Ah, I'll make my day. Guys, please check out Nick P. Pfeiffer, 1994 on YouTube. Um, people are saying this method came from Nick. I've seen people say this method came from Gut Fox. I've seen a bunch of, um, I've seen a bunch of things saying where this method came from. Honestly, like, I, in my stream, my, my viewers can vouch for me. Um, literally, when, as soon as the Nadama Kinsu method came out, um, I was on doing it because like if you just understand the market you understand you understand that nobody's really making up these methods Like it's just being just understanding the market. So, you know, 
It's literally the same method as the the Nadamakin Sue method, but it's not Nadamakin Sue. The Jadavion Clowny is what I meant to say before. I hope I said that. The Jadavion Clowny method. It's the same thing, except this time you're just making training, not coins. So you know what I'm saying? Shouts out. I'm not like I'm not taking away whoever came up with this method, but I just want y'all to understand, like you know, don't come for me if you see me like not giving credit, like. But it's true. Like credit, credit should be due where it's due. If you guys know who came up with this method, just put it down below. Um, but but yeah, okay. So I don't know if that's 392s, because if that is, then I'm quick selling that card. Um, let's see, let's see if that's 392s. I hope that's 392s, because that's another situation you guys could run into. Oh no, I just put a 90 in there, did I not? Oh no, it is 392s. Okay, so then three. You see how there's two 92s already in the set, so you don't want to add a third 92, because then you're just you're just upping the quick sell value. So you're you're literally losing training if you do that. So th that's how, at that point, since I already have two 92s in there, I'm just gonna go quick sell that 92 and keep rolling. So we quick sell that 92 and keep rolling. Um, okay. All right, so we quick sell that 92, we keep rolling. Thank God I checked that, because I thought I put a 90 in there. But yeah, guys, one more 90 and we finish in Adamakin Sue, and that's pretty much the method. So, yeah. So we're just going to keep rolling. I'll probably cut. I'll probably cut till I find the, la the last 90. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll cut, till, I'll cut to when I find the last 90. All right, so we got the set. All right, hopefully we get a 90 in it, or a 94. All right, perfect. So last 90 goes into our last Ndamukin Sue, and we fin we finished all of that, right? We finished all three heroes, right? We didn't make training. We lost training. But like I said, guys, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So pretty much you just keep doing. Eventually, you're going to start making training. I can promise you that. All right, guys. But that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Please comment. Please subscribe. At 100 subscribers, we're doing that giveaway. Yo, you do not want to miss it. Go follow my Twitch down below if you rock with me. Man, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm out, man. Peace.